that's this is kind of just like a way that you can find people, you can talk to people. It's definitely not the only way, but it's it kind of gives people this cutting edge of uh, being um, competitive as well. And so with all thousands upon thousands of people, you're going to have quite a few um, competitive people. So I want you guys to notice this guy, uh, Joshua G. Smith. This person is up to 129,000 observations by other people that he's identified just this year, right? And so this is this is showing the extreme dedication that people put into this kind of thing. And so I'm just going to show you guys that just to get an idea for how this this whole thing works. Uh, there's probably going to be a question for anybody who's looking at this that there's a difference between the members or the users or the participants and what we call the curators. Uh, curators have a little bit of a different role. Uh, none of these people are paid, uh, by the way, by iNaturalist. This is all like a volunteer based thing, but what curators do is they go in specifically and they add like specific photographs, for example, that represent um, certain species. So let me guys show you just a little bit about um, uh, what that means. I just want to make a one point real quick before I do. So just looking at this information on this page, these are the most recent observations that have come into iNaturalist. And just through participation, like I personally have communicated with about half of these different individuals just about stuff because that's how easy and open it is. Like this guy here is in uh, New Zealand, this guy here is in uh, California, and it's very easy to uh, kind of make friends with these people. And if you travel places, you can also meet up with these people on the road, and that, that's actually very fun as well. So I want to show you guys, we're looking at people here, but I want to drop down this because this is probably what a lot of people are going to be very interested in. So it should be loading here, yeah. And so this is just the general species page, and I want you guys to look. It's basically broken down into these very broad groups, like kingdoms and then class. And you can kind of go into any one of these. You can start looking around at different things. Like I'm just going to click on fish uh, just to give you an example. I'm going to let it load. And so now we've gone from a very generic page to now we're going to actually start showing uh, all of the observations that have come in for just fish here on iNaturalist. So once again, I can immediately see that this guy, uh, Marek Twin, which is actually somebody who I've communicated with quite a bit, this person has added, uh, he's added personally almost 12,000 different fish observations and also he's identified uh, 20, almost 27,000 of other people's things. So I'm just going to go uh, look at this guy just to give you guys, like I said, I'm just going to be navigating around kind of showing you a little bit about how it's done. So this I can read a little about him, I can message, I can message him, find out what his personal life's like. Now I want you guys to notice this person has identified 142,000 identifications for other people. So this guy's also very dedicated, but also he's found 26,000 uh, identif I mean observations himself, and he's also found and contributed over 5,000 species just into the system. So I can then from this page, I can go look at uh, just his observations. I'm going to use this just to give you guys an idea of how these observations look once you guys go into them. I know we're just looking at fish here, but I just want to give this as just it works. It works for everything, and so this is actually Mark Twins' uh, observations that he's most recently updated and this is going to work for any group It's going to come out just like this and so it's going to be just these thumbnails here's some basic information here's where he was um, and here's like a map where you can see this is all the observations on this page you can see he's like way out here in the Pacific and so I'm going to like just click on this just to show you guys how this looks on the uh, species page and what you can kind of do with this information okay so <clears throat> Here we have this picture. This is actually his picture, and of course I can uh, look at this picture directly and see so here's like a closer look at it, and yeah, it looks good. You know, it's a nice detailed picture. You can actually put more than one picture uh, in each observation, so that makes it really helpful. And also I would suggest that, and that's something I'll kind of, I'd like to do more of a tutorial on that in future presentations on how do you take multiple pictures of a species in order to figure out what it is, because we kind of live in the day and age where it's not really about necessarily knowing something, but it's more about how to figure it out. 